you have an important event coming up, so I want to talk about it. This is amazing. I sure do. I'm yes. doing uh, Music for Mutts in Nashville at a Sin Theater on October 5th, a concert to raise money for my foundation, Mutt Nation, Mutt Nation? Foundation. Yeah. We've raised since 2009 over $10 million to That's save insane. homeless babes. I know. Our mission is pretty much um, we lift up shelters. We raise awareness for spay and neuter. We raise awareness for adopt, don't shop. And yeah. we've been able to, to do so much with the money we've raised to save thousands of dogs and help hundreds of shelters. So we're doing a big show for it in Nashville. I'm super excited. Yeah. I, I get to sing only for dogs that night. Before going any further, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that so much. It was a memorable evening for Miranda Lambert's Music for Mutts. She performed for a special purpose on October 5th at Nashville's Ascend Amphitheater. The purpose of the event was to aid animals in shelters rather than merely enjoy music. To raise money for animals in need, Lambert hosted a lineup of country music luminaries with the help of Tractor Supply. Riley Green, Dan and Shay, Little Big Town, and other celebrities joined her for this endearing evening. Pets are Lambert's passion, no secret. She has devoted her time and energy for the past 15 years to the Mutt Nation Foundation, which supports animal shelters. She has raised more than $10 million for this cause with her mother, Bev. Mutt Nation has been providing supplies to shelters, encouraging adoption, and even providing assistance to animals in need during natural catastrophes. Lambert was also giving back to her furry pals with her show. Ascend Park was hosting a public dog adoption event before the start of the music. Participating shelters were Wags and Walks, Nashville Humane, Old Friends Senior Dog Sanctuary, and Crossroads Campus. Many individuals came out to adopt pets, making the day even more wonderful. The show was opened by Jake Worthington. His voice was deep and twangy, giving away his Texas background. Songs like The State You Left Me In and Next New Thing demonstrated his honky-tonk style. His performance was full of Texas pride with songs like Honky Tonk Crowd and Honky Tonks in Texas. Worthington, a native of Laporte, Texas, has gained notoriety for his traditional rural look. He created the ideal mood for the evening. Lambert took the stage following Worthington's performance. She began with two of her fan favorites, Fastest Girl in Town and Kerosene, with a dazzling saddle suspended above. The the audience was enthralled with her captivating energy and stood up. Throughout the evening, Lambert shared the spotlight with her pals, who were happy to have her join her on stage. Worthington was among the guests on Lambert's schedule, along with Harry, Lucas Nelson, Ashley Monroe, Riley Green, Dan and Shay, and Little Big Town. The audience was treated to a wide range of sounds and styles during the presentation, which featured both solo and group performances. Lambert once asked Worthington to return to the stage. They sang Hello S. Tie Day, which encapsulates the unadulterated feelings of heartbreak. Worthington just moved to Lambert's label, Big Loud Texas, from Big Loud Records. The crowd laughed when Lambert complimented him, calling him country as a biscuit and praising his talent. Many of Lambert's classics, such as If I Was a Cowboy, Mama's Broken Heart, Gunpowder and Lead, The House That Built Me, and Automatic, were performed during her performance. Screens displayed images of Lambert as a toddler throughout Automatic, charting her musical career. For supporters who have followed her from the beginning, it was a heartfelt moment. Lambert's evening attire was as unique as the tunes. She was dressed in a hand-embroidered costume of vibrant pink and black. Every embroidered piece was a portrait of one of her cherished dogs. The event took on a Western flavor as pictures of horses, cacti, and desert skies flickered on the screens behind her. As the evening went on, Lambert debuted tracks from her most recent album, Postcards from Texas. She sang Alimony, a tune that demonstrates her acute compositional abilities. She also sang a brand new song titled Damn It Randy. Lambert joked with the crowd, saying the song was for everyone who has ever been upset by someone named Randy. The message was evident despite the lighthearted humor. The song expresses those moments in life when letting go is the only choice. The part of the show where Lambert honored Chris Christofferson was one of the highlights. She asked Lucas Nelson to perform the timeless Merle Haggard ballad, Silver Wings, on stage. Lambert clarified that it was their way of paying tribute to both luminaries and that Christofferson cherished Haggard's music. Lambert's poignant singing and Nelson's ethereal guitar skills made the tribute unforgettable. 
Another memorable performance was Lucas Nelson's rendition of his song, Find Yourself, on his own. His raw vocals and scorching guitar solos enthralled the crowd. Nelson demonstrated that he remains one of the industry's most dedicated performers when he recently announced a sabbatical from touring with his band, The Promise of the Real. Riley Green also showed up out of the blue. After a cyclone forced the cancellation of one of his gigs, he had recently called Lambert to inquire about joining the event. The audience loved Green's rendition of I Wish Grandpa's Never Died, especially the ladies who got up to record the occasion with their phones.